instruct the pickup line ready? Line is ready. Shooter, stand by. Fire. The reason that I decided to go combat arms was I grew up shooting guns. I just like shooting a lot. I also enjoy teaching people. So the opportunity to combine my passion for shooting and teaching just made it a no-brainer. I joined CADM because it was a different opportunity outside of the security forces realm. And I like teaching people and I'm very interested in guns. Our primary job is to teach the base populace on how to handle weapon systems. We also oversee the weapons maintenance and repair throughout the entire Air Force's arsenal. The importance of CADM is being able to safely operate and use a weapon to protect yourself and protect others around you when and if you ever have to use this weapon. We show up around 7 o'clock in the morning, get everything ready for our class to start at 8 o'clock. That includes opening up, making sure the range is set up, and then teaching everyone how to shoot properly. We'll teach for a few hours, and then once we're done teaching, we head out to the range, and we'll spend a couple hours shooting the course of fire. When handling weapons of any type, we only want to be as safe as we can be. Negligence with a weapon system could be detrimental, right? Could be a serious harm or death to someone, because that's what weapons are intended to do. So there's some key weapon safety rules that we always go over in our classes. Not only are they important for yourself and for the use of the weapon, you may be tunnel vision focusing just on that single target, but little do you know if there's something behind it that could be detrimental if you miss. Number one, and what I think is most important, is to treat our weapons as if they are loaded at all times. Then we have uh, no joking gesture, no horseplay, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot, and then always know your backdrop where the bullet's gonna go. Here at Luke, our primary weapon systems that we use are either the Beretta M9 or the Six Sauer M18, as well as the Colt or FN M4A1. The different arming groups that we have that we cover are Group A, B, and C. Group C is going to be mostly personnel that don't really handle weapons very often, but they do have to have the knowledge on how to handle those weapon systems. Group B is kind of falls in the middle. They need to shoot a little bit more than Group C, but not as much as Group A. And then Group A personnel would be cops, special operations guys, people who have to fire more often, who have to fire more rounds and receive additional training on those weapon systems. The best part of the job, I get to get qualified on everything from the pistol all the way up to sniper rifles and grenade launchers and all that cool stuff that everybody says, you know, oh man, it'd be so cool to get a chance to shoot that or to see what that's like. We get to do that because, I mean, if we weren't, then it kind of questions our ability to effectively teach that weapon system. We get to shoot everything and it's just a lot of fun.